Hello everyone, this is Mohandan Raghavan and this video we are going to see the Aqua IDE which has the recent announcement about the Playwright support. As we know, Playwright is the wonderful test automation tool in recent time and it has the very good functionalities when compared to the Selenium and other testing framework. Now, we have the Aqua IDE from the JetBrain, which is a very powerful test automation IDE. It has more features and support for Playwright. Let's explore how to install the Aqua IDE and what are the main benefits we could get from the Aqua IDE, especially in considering Playwright. We have two main benefits, which is web inspector with built-in browser. What are those? How to install the Aqua IDE? Everything we will see in this video. Let's go to the browser and type jetbrains.com slash aqua. You can see the wonderful documentation about what is JetBrains Aqua and now it is in the review stage. That means that you can download the beta version kind of thing and you can use it. And as of now, it is totally free. In the future, they may come up with the main version. Still, we may expect the community version as well. And here you can see the documentation, how it works, what it does, everything. Then here you can see the further information about the play rate support, especially because JetBrains this Aqua IDE is being supported by Java, maybe Selenium, I can say, Selenium, Cypress, and Playwright. Earlier, it was only with Selenium. Now, it is giving the support for Cypress as well as for Playwright. We will focus on Playwright. So, in Playwright, you can see the documentation. I will be providing this link for our just reference. Now, let's go to the page and you can see, you can just download the preview. It is a very simple click exe file and you will just execute, but it will ask for you to create the account in JetBrain. You can use your own account or any account that you have so that you have the registered user in JetBrain. After giving the account, you will be having the exe file in your local and install by double clicking the exe file. After installing, if you just type Aqua, you will be having the Aqua app. Now you can click on the new project. When you click on the new project, you can see the different generators for the project itself for example selenium selenium with pytest and now we have the play rate and cypress if you are from the new testing framework such as like a play rate or cypress you can directly choose those and we will select the play rate and we will mention play rate demo and click on create same like VS Code, it will try to create the node project and it will ask some of the basic things. And even we don't want to type anything from our just terminal. It will directly create the project. I am going to the terminal and seeing it is asking for TypeScript or JavaScript. I go with TypeScript and default folder and GitHub Actions as of now, no. And yes, I am going to install all the browsers. And initially, if you are having the bandwidth issue, it may take some time. So it will install all the browsers or basically it's the browser engine. Now here you can see everything has been installed. Now we have the project. Now the main thing about Aqua is on your right hand side, you can see something with web inspector. So this is the main one. This is the one of the best advantage you can see here. For example, let's open any one of the example spec and minimize this project folder and minimize the terminal so that you can see the code as well as your web inspector. So in the ID itself, you will have the inbuilt browser so that you can directly navigate to your application. For example, our favorite uh, sarsdemo.com and here we have the page created. Just click on this selector and click on the element which you want to generate the locator and here you have the locator. And if you click on the drop down, here you can see the options for CSS or export. And if you click on the variations, you can see the multiple variations for the same type, for example, CSS type. And here you can manually click or manually copy the locator or you place the cursor wherever you want that code. Just for example, I am placing here and click on plus symbol. Here you can see automatically it generates the code for you and it generates the variable name also. And here you can see the symbol. Again, if you want to see where is the locator is available, just click on this or otherwise I will just go somewhere else. And now I just click on this. It automatically highlights this web element being identified by this locator. And here you can see username is highlighted. So because of this, what happens is like you can just create the locator on the go. You don't need to switch between the browser and the code. And along with that, whatever you find in IntelliJ, the advantages, the same thing will be inherited to the Aqua ID also. Whatever the shortcuts we know about the IntelliJ, the same thing can be used here as well. But apart from that, still, you can use the same browser options here. Here you can see the enable pop-up windows and you can see the settings again. Still, you can go to the dev tools. If you still wanted to do something on the dev console or developer tools, you can do the same thing higher here. And remaining forward, it's almost like a built-in browser. And what are the other things? Here you can see the element to add code by. Even sometimes if you don't want to add by maybe a locator, you can go with the role, which is specific for the playwright. Let me create one more line. 
and here i will just go here and let me add by role here you can see page dot get by role so now i am not going with locator i'm going with get by role same way you can whatever you can look it inside your query documentation everything can be done for example data test here you can see it is using the data test parameter or attribute and even you can manually copy and you can change to x path as the default so that you can see the multiple x path locator for example just click on that here you can see it's generating the x path and the beauty is like even if you add multiple times it knows that already the value is available or let's say the value is available with the existing variable called input username next time it generates the unique variable name which is input username too and it continues on the same way so this is the best feature you can find it and you can create your automation script very quickly because most of the time we will spend more time on finding the locators or fixing the locator by seeing this aqua id i feel like it is very easy to find the locator by using the built in browser and the web inspect so this is what i just want to convey to everyone and this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in our cloud Thank you.